So, uh, now we were talking about the how the charges are produced. So, this part was really very important that how charges are produced you need to understand that very very properly. Okay. Now, to proceed with the next example if I take ebonite rod okay. if I take ebonite rod okay, and hang it like this. Okay, if I have taken a ebonite rod okay, and if I rub this ebonite rod with wool. Okay, if I take my ebonite rod which is I have suspended like this it, okay, it is attached to the thread and it is rubbed with the wool. So, what will happen you know children what will happen now if I bring one more ebonite rod over here this one is also ebonite ok. So, it will get what it will get attracted ok and what will happen you know if I try to move this in the same case where we saw the straw one straw was just following the another straw. If I keep this straw here it will also come here that means this will be rotating where it will be following the straw see this is straw number 1 this is straw number 2 both these straws are of ebonite ok. I rubbed this straw ok I rubbed this straw with the wool ok this straw is rubbed with the wool. Now, straw number 1 if I keep it like this then straw number 2 will be getting attracted towards a straw number 1 and it will follow straw number 1 and so it will move ok. Now, that means the force of attraction is there if I keep it here only. Now, if I rub both the uh, this one if I rub both the ebonite rods ok, if I rub both the ebonite rod with the wool ok, if I rub both the ebonite rod with the wool then what will happen children the same charge will be developed what will happen the same charge will be developed and so this both will repel each other ok. See same charges always repel opposite charges always attract ok. When you are rubbing a substance uh, see always remember electrostatic force will be developed only in the particular pairs ok. Electrostatic force cannot be developed among anything ok now among anything any two pair you rub your uh, pen with the notebook and electrostatic force will develop oh, oh, oh very funny no not at all why because electrostatic pair force can be developed only among the special pairs itself ok. So, now if you take one ebonite rod and you are hanging you have hanged it is suspended ok and then you will take another ebonite rod and if you move uh, before you know it is wrapped to the wool and then you move this rod the rod number 2 will follow the rod number 1 ok. So, it will be followed, but what happens if you rub both the rods on the wool if you rub both the rods on the wool then what will happen children then both will have same kind of force both will develop same kind of force and so they will start repelling each other ok they will start repelling each other. So, are you sure are you clear with this like uh, now first time we have done this with the straw. Okay, now one piece of straw was attached and the second piece of straw was rubbed to where it was rubbed on the paper. So, the uh, straw which was rubbed on the paper it developed the charge is not it and so is the case here like if we rub the ebonite charge with the wool. So, the charge will be developed ok negative charge will be developed and here there is no charge and so the uh, it will be attracted ok. Now, we will take the third example ok we will take the third example here also I will take one straw uh, like not straw the thread and two thread 
I will tie like this ok, I will tie like this ok. Now, this one is it has become little more fatty hai na? So, it shall be little bit thinner. So, this one is glass rod ok, glass rod and now the same thing we will do ok, we will do the same thing. If you have taken a glass rod I will draw here rather ok. So, I have taken one like again the same thing thread is there then to this we have added one we have you know attached one glass rod and here also we have taken one glass rod. Now, this glass rod will be rubbed on the piece of the silk ok. This glass rod will be rubbed on the piece of a silk and then what will happen this rod will develop children positive charge ok. Now, again the same thing if you move this ok, this number 1 is moved. So, number 2 is going to follow number 1 ok and if you keep it then both will get attracted. Now, again the same thing what you do you will rub both the things with the silk. If you do this both will develop same charge ok, if you rub only one so what is happening the uh, this one the rod where which you are rubbing only this one is getting uh, charge only this one is getting what only this one is getting positively charged it is becoming positively charged, but this one is it is not having any charge. So, again it get attracted is not it, but when you rub both the rods on the silk then both of them will take what the same charge ok and so again the same charge will repel each other and so it would not move ok. So, this is about about electrostatic force ok. Now, how electrostatic force is measured children? So, it is done by electroscope ok, it is done by electroscope. How can we define electroscope? Electroscope is a device which is responsible for just what uh, this uh, electroscope is a very small device which is used to detect ok, which is used to detect the charges. So, it is it is a device which is used to detect charges ok. So, it is used to detect charges ok. What is there electroscope is there this electroscope is used to detect what charges ok. So, it is a device which is used to detect the charges. Now, see we are talking about which force we are talking about electrostatic force ok. Now, this electrostatic force is what it is the weakest force it developed between uh, very you know uh, specific pairs it does not develop among all the pairs. So, it develop among some special specific pairs it is a weakest kind of force here the same charges will repel and the opposite charges will attract. So, just we will write few points children over here. I have rubbed this force also. So, we will write force ok. So, it is a weakest type of force ok, it is the weakest type of force ok. This one is the first one now what I told now 
this force okay this force is due to we have written this we have, we have written this but still due to repulsion of the same charges and attraction of the opposite charges okay then what is the third one i said this cannot be developed between any all the pairs or like you know uh, between anything you know between all the objects no this force can be developed okay this force uh, this force can be developed only among some specific pairs okay so this force can be developed okay this force these are the very important three points it is the weakest type of force that means this force is not very strong this force is due to repulsion of the same charges and attraction of the opposite charges this force can be developed only among some specific pairs okay abhi develop kyun hota hai lekin now this can be taken as a fourth one electroscope it uh, electroscope is a device which is used to what which is used to detect charges okay and why charges are formed charges are formed when the when transfer of electrons takes place charges are formed okay na when kya hota hai when transfer of electrons takes place charges are formed okay so this was all about the electrostatic force and uh, then we have uh, discussed many answers or like many examples also like when ebonite first of all we have discussed about the straw okay straw it has to be rubbed where on the paper okay then ebonite rod it has to be rubbed <coughs> so straw has to be rubbed where on the paper then ebonite rod we discussed it has to be draw where on the wool then we discussed glass rod it has to be rubbed where on the uh, what where silk isn't it so there are specific pairs which can be this force can be seen between these kind of pairs only okay so even i can write the examples over here of the pairs so sixth one examples of the pairs okay so examples of the pair it's instead of writing you know scale and all this thing i can write comb plus paper isn't it then straw with straw with what paper isn't it okay then this one was first one this is second one and now third one so third one is what can be ebonite with straw oh, i'm so sorry with wool and fourth one can be 
glass rod with what silk isn't it so these can be the examples of what electrostatic force the weakest kind of force ok so now we will read about the next force now we will talk about next force ok now this force is also not contact force that means for this force also there is no need at all for two surfaces to be in contact with each other is not it. So, again what we are studying we are studying non contact force and now we are studying gravitational force and I know you all know this I think so you all are quite aware of this is not it. So, this one is gravitational force ok. Now, when I say gravitational force, so what is the first thing which comes in our mind? The first thing which comes in our mind is due to gravitational force like uh, nothing is flying in the sky is not it nothing is flying in the sky means I am not talking of the birds in journal I am saying like things are there ok on the surface of the earth you can and I can see them is not it you are able to walk I am able to stand things are there on the place is not it or else if the gravity is not there or in absence of gravity what would have happened the things would have flied <coughs> would have moved in the air randomly is not it. So, thanks to gravity thanks to gravitational force is not it that we are able to stand we are able to walk and we are able to do all our things which are supposed to do we have uh, our you know the places uh, in fix the things are fixed all is because of what gravitational force. So, uh, how can we define gravitational force children how can we define gravitational force and uh, this force is exerted by whom you all know this who is exerting this force earth is exerting is not it due to the uh, gravity of earth is not it due to the gravitational force of earth, earth is able to pull the things and keep the things down on its surface. So, let us write the definition the force of attraction due to which earth pulls and keeps the objects down we will be changing the def this definition many a time first of all what I have written the force of attraction due to which earth pulls and keeps the objects down that means what due to gravity all the things are down ok. Now tell me one thing children when we are saying that due to gravity all the things are down ok then why am I able to throw the things up why am I, why am I able to throw the things up why does the things go up is it the case that when I throw the things then the gravity does not work on that is it the case no absolutely not then what is the case children that when we throw a substance up ok when we throw a substance up that means we are applying what we are applying force is not it and when I am throwing a chalk so which force am I applying children 
I am applying muscular force. Okay, now please try to understand this thing is very important. Now I have thrown a ball. Okay, I have thrown a ball. This is the surface of the earth and it has gone up till here. Okay, this ball has reached here. And then again, what will happen? See, one thing you for sure you know, okay, you all know is what? That when the uh, uh, these leaves, okay, falls, when they, <coughs> okay, so when this leaves, uh, you know, comes down from the leaves, it will fall certainly on the surface of the earth only, it will not go up, will it fly high in the air, even it will fly for some time, eventually it is going to come down, is not it. So, when the fruits are ripened, it will come down on the surface of the earth, leaves comes down on the surface of the earth, is not it. Uh, when you throw things up, it comes down, why does it happen? Uh, before like Isaac, Sir Isaac Newton also, many of the, you know many person would have uh, observed things coming down, falling down, okay, raindrops coming down and not flying up in the sky. We have atmosphere, why? Because of the gravity, but the Sir Isaac Newton was the only one person who, uh, you know, raised the question and who asked himself only that why things are coming down? on the surface of the earth and why does not it go up and it starts flying somewhere, okay. Then what happens, uh, like then Newton he gave, he explained the reason, okay. Then okay, so coming back to the point, now when I am saying that due to gravity the things are there on the surface, okay. Then why does it goes up? When I throw a ball, why a ball goes up children? So, when I throw ball from a position of A, it reaches to position B and after some time it again comes from B to A. So, which kind of force am I applying children? I am applying muscular force, is not it? I am applying muscular force. So, you know why the things goes up? Because when I throw the substance, when I am throwing something up, then the muscular force, okay, the muscular force, the force applied by the muscles becomes more or becomes greater than the gravitational force, okay. When the force applied by us or when the muscular force, okay, becomes more than the gravitational force or exceeds than the gravitational force, in that case only the substance will go up. Now see when I am throwing this chalk up, okay, so what is happening? When I have applied the force, my muscular force, the force which I have applied has become greater than the gravitational pull and so the things go up, okay. Then why does it comes down? It comes down children because the force which I have applied was only sufficient to take it from here till here sorry. Now, when the substance reaches to the point B, the force which I applied became again what it see, I have applied force till here it was here and then slowly it became 0, okay. So, the point where it becomes 0 again what will happen or you know even if it does not become 0, but the point where my force become lesser or the point where the gravitational force become more than the muscular force, are you getting my point? When I am applying muscular force, the substance goes up and why does it comes up? When does it comes uh, down? When the force, okay, when the gravitational force becomes again greater than muscular force, okay. All substance remains on the surface of the earth due to gravity, due to gravitational force. Now, when I am throwing, when I am uh, uh, you know I have uh, just thrown a ball up. So, why does it goes up? Because the gravitational force has become lesser than my muscular force, okay. Then why does it comes down? Because at 
again when it reaches to the point B a point a stage comes where again gravitational force become greater than the muscular force and so that substance come down and falls on the surface of the earth. Okay. So, you know what is gravitational force? The force due to which the force of attraction due to which earth you know keeps the substance attracts or pulls the substance down and keep it down. Okay, now tell me one thing children this is the only gravitational force or we are only concerned about the gravitational force of the earth or do you know that gravitational force exists between all materials which are existing here on the surface of the earth or even you know it is there everywhere between any two objects. Okay. Now, because of the uh, you know because of the gravitational force of the sun okay sun has got maximum gravitational force okay now i'll tell you how it is coming but just now for now the sun has got highest gravitational force due to the sun's gravitational force children the planets are what moving across moving around where they are moving around the sun isn't it so, due to the presence, due to the gravitational force of the what? Due to the gravitational force of the sun, the planets are revolving around it. Mm. Due to the gravitational force of the earth, the moon is revolving around the earth. Okay. So, now uh, what is there than this? So, I can say that gravitational force exists between every material between every between any two substance okay but then why only earth is able to pull see suppose this is a apple okay apple and i'm talking about earth this is my a this is my b so even you know apple has apple and earth this also will have you know it will have a attraction force between them. But you know what happened children the gravitational force depends upon two things. It depends upon mass of the substance okay. It depends upon mass of the substance it also de depend upon distance of the substance okay. It also depends upon the distance of the substance. If distance is less that means that force of attraction will be more okay and see if mass is more okay if mass is more that means more force will be exerted please try to understand children when mass see first of all between any material okay the force of uh, this one gravitational force okay so first i'll try the definition you know so the things will become clear so, again this one was a first point now again second one gravitational force so much of dust is coming from this is the force of attraction between any two materials. Okay. Now see gravitational force is the force which okay, is the gravitational force is the force of attraction between any two materials. Okay. That means the force is there between this chalk and this blackboard also. Then why they are not pulling each other children because this 
because gravitational force depends upon two things ok gravitational force depends upon two things this one is our first point then second point then third point gravitational force depends upon two things ok mass ok mass of the object and distance so much of noise this talk is making and distance between the two ok so see first of all we know that force of attraction with which the earth pulls the things down the force of attraction due to which the earth keeps the substances or pulls the substances towards itself is gravity ok then I am saying that this force of attraction exists not only between earth and the other substance, but this force of attraction exists between any two object, between any two material, between any two substance ok. That means this force is available, this force exists between this blackboard and this chalk also ok that uh, you know like any two uh, materials. But then why that question is coming again again that why does not it get attracted or why does not the you know earth get stuck or you know apple is able to produce so much of force that uh, the earth get attracted to the apple just imagine the earth moving towards the apple does it is it possible no absolutely no ok absolutely nonsense. So, why is it not possible children because now read this point gravitational force depends upon two things ok first the mass of the object now mass ok mass of the object if the mass of, of the object is greater ok if the mass of the object is greater then higher ok higher force will be higher force will be exerted if mass of the substance is uh, more if the substance is heavier ok if the substance is heavier if the mass is more then more force will be exerted now you tell me apple is heavier or earth is heavier apple is having more mass or does the earth has got more mass obviously earth has got more mass and so earth will produce greater force ok and so the apple falls down ok and does not fly high in the sky or earth does not get attracted towards the apple ok. Now in the same way we will write few more points over here children.